What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's UBG here. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a really awesome day. Today, I want to go ahead and give you guys a tutorial on how to install Pro X inputs onto your computer with the drive that's installed with it. Now, I see that a lot of people are just using basic USB uh, controllers and stuff like that that connect fully within this controller, at least, anyways, and a lot of other controllers that can just connect to the computer and recognize it as a regular X input controller, just as normal. But let's say that you actually want to use your uh, Nintendo Switch Pro controller, which this does not really support X input for that specifically. Um, even though you don't want to connect it wirelessly, or if you can't connect it wirelessly because your desktop is a little bit too old for a Bluetooth driver or anything like that, we'll say that you are um, using the uh, the uh, USB C controller or USB C adapter that comes with your Nintendo Switch Pro controller and your Nintendo Switch um, controller itself. So that way you guys can use it onto your computer as an actual controller and input. And I'm gonna show you guys how to install that on your computer and for it to be fully working today. So if you guys do enjoy the video, then make sure to hit the like button down below and let's go ahead and get straight into today's tutorial. Here's the thing, first things first, that we're gonna have to download a couple of files and stuff. So we're gonna make sure to uh, go over to Chrome real here. Um, I'll have this link right here, the GitHub link down in the description below so that way you guys can get it. So you're gonna wanna head over to this GitHub link. This is the Procon X Inputs installer so that way you guys can get this. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the two releases page and download the alpha since that is the latest version of this program. Requirements are simple. You just need Net Framework for Windows 7 Server Pack 1 or newer. Make sure that you uh, have all of that stuff and most of this does not matter. All you have to do is just go ahead and get yourself the actual uh, files to uh, install this thing. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and click on the Procon X Input page. It'll show the full page for it and it'll show the assets that come with it. You're gonna wanna have to download which version is your computer for 32-bit and 64-bit operating system. Now, if you guys don't know how to uh, check to see if your uh, computer is a 32-bit or 64-bit um, operating system, and I'll go ahead and show you real quick. First of all, if you just go to your computer really quick, uh, because I have starters back, I can just go to the properties really easily so that way I can open uh, my computer and stuff. But if you can, make sure to go to this PC and click on the properties menu that will show up the whole control panel for system security and the whole system. So as you guys can tell, I have a 64-bit um, base processor and I'm running a 64-bit operating system. So my type is a 64-bit operating system. So I'm gonna be downloading the 64-bit zip file on here. It doesn't matter which type of Windows edition and stuff that you have, as long as you download the right version for 64-bit and 32-bit operating systems. If you download the wrong version, the program will tell you, but you're gonna have to make sure that you guys have the right version of your um, installer so that way you guys can make sure to not screw up in the long run. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the 64-bit operating system version for this and I'm gonna download the zip and it's gonna come in a zip so I'm gonna open this in my downloads folder real quick. So as you guys can see I already downloaded this just to test out if this will work on Windows 10 computers and this does work so we're gonna go ahead and extract the files here. So you're gonna wanna have to uh, extract to its own folder because its folder contains a bunch of files and stuff you want to extract into a folder pre um, preemptively and I'm gonna send this folder over to my document drive it doesn't matter if you do this step right here I'm just doing it to my document drive so that way I have a little bit more of a structure to my actual uh, my computer so I'm just gonna transfer it right over here we're gonna go to the documents real quick and I already have it installed right here all you have to do is uh, open this right here and what you want to do is open up the folder and you're going to see all these files and stuff. So you're going to want to have to install the drivers first of all because the drivers are obviously not installed on your computer. You want to run it as administrator because it's not going to know uh, specifically if it's running off of administrator or stuff. It's installing drivers so it needs to get into the uh, actual computer itself to install the drivers. So as you can see, the command prompt right here to the system 32 is uh, fully working and it's making sure to install all the drivers. And once it's done, it's gonna tell you to press any key to continue. So if you hit any key, and it'll, um, it'll do that instead. And um, you're gonna wanna open the Procon X input that application that went with it. And if you haven't done so already, 
uh, plug in your controller with the USB connector and with your Pro Controller, I don't have mine connected because it says I'm not able to find the controller, so I'm just going to restart that. So I'm going to plug in my uh, USB right here, and um, as you can see, I um, you probably heard it on my computer, but it does recognize it as an actual um, compu um, computer uh, connection. And it says that my controller is connected and beginning the X input emulation. Now basically the X input emulation is emulating an Xbox 360 controller on here. So you can be able to use this, uh, make sure that you calibrate the stick stump and then uh, press the share button so that way it will set the stick in the center and then the stick centers will be set if you press the share button and all controllers are um, actually set and now you can actually enjoy your games. Now here's the thing that you cannot do not close this so you have to minimize it into your background like so so let me show you guys a game that will um, specifically work with this we'll try dolphin for one because dolphin does work with this as well now as you guys can see i can press any button this is me actually inputting the stuff that's on here and i already set it up in dolphin beforehand and this is working completely well so there we have it we have it actually working the b button works and all that stuff is recognizing it as an actual x input and stuff and it will completely uh it will completely just work um all of this actually just completely works and if you guys just want to go ahead and disconnect it you can simply disconnect it like so and the led will go off and um all of this does not unpair your switch pro controller from your switch by any chance and um you can just input it like so so that works if you guys do enjoy this video make sure to hit that like button down below also subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already and i'll see you guys in the next one